Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto, and first off, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Summit Ford of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, for letting me check out one of their 2021 Ford Bronco Sports, which is what we got here today, and I'm going to go over. Uh, their website is summitautoford.com, so go check those guys out there. Got a lot of brand new Fords and great inventory there. Uh, today, I am checking out this brand new 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. Uh, we're going to do a walk around, get into all the options, and uh, go over all the trim levels and everything that we can with this walk around. First off, this is a Badlands Edition, and you can get the Bronco Sport in four different trim levels right now, including a special trim level, a fifth special trim level. So you can get these in the base, the Big Ben, the Outer Banks, and the Badlands Edition. And then they have a special edition for this year, which is a first edition. Uh, the Badlands edition, which is what we have right here, is kind of their top end trim level. And it's also their most off-road capable one right now. And a really good styling, just to go over kind of the styling on this particular Bronco Sport. Front end looks really good. And uh, I just like the styling, the looks of it. Some people have said it kind of looks like a Land Rover. Um, to me, from the side profile here, this looks exactly like my 2009 Ford Escape. Um, and actually driving it, I feel like I'm right at home in my Escape. But anyways, uh, the new Bronco Sport, you can get it in two different engines. You get the 1.5 liter, inline three turbocharged motor, which gives you 181 horsepower. And then you can get it in the two liter dual overhead cam four cylinder turbocharged motor, which gives you 245 horsepower. Now this one has the same engine transmission as the Ford Escape, um, but this one is a higher vehicle. The height is much better and or much higher and the um, headroom in the vehicle is also higher as well. This particular one can tow up to 2200 pounds so that's pretty cool. We'll go over just the styling here on the Badlands. First off you get the gray painted alloy rims, the 17 inch rims. They come with the Badlands package. You get the Pirelli um, Scorpion ATR 225-65R17 tires. These are an all-terrain tread pattern on them. Four-wheel disc brakes on the Bronco Sport, which I like. I'm pretty sure my Escape only has front-wheel disc brakes, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, you get the LED headlamps, projector style, the LED running lights, and the LED fog lamps. You get the front tow hooks on the Badlands package here. This one has the 180 degree front camera, which is pretty cool. I'll show you that in just a little bit. Um, and the hood is really horizontal. Um, it doesn't slope down very much. So you can see the hood all the way to the front, basically, uh, when you're driving, which I kind of like. This one's also equipped with the 360 co-pilot assist, which gives you the adaptive cruise control, the lane departure warning, and all that good stuff. In fact, we'll take a look at the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this at any point, and um, we're just going to go through kind of everything on here um, for the optional equipment. You have the Badlands package, which is a $2,595 option, and that gives you the power sunroof, the reverse sensing system, wireless charge pad, dual zone, auto temp, AC, um, HD radio, B&O sound system with the 10 speakers and remote starter, and the power 8-way driver's seat. So uh, the MSRP on this one is, let's see, 37940 Um if you want to get all your rebates and incentives, you can go to our website, summitauto.com. The fuel economy on this vehicle, which 
I was doing some research. They don't tell you on Edmonds, so you, the only way to get it right now is on the window sticker. 26 highway, 21 city, 23 average. And it is not rated for safety ratings quite yet. Um, the interior on this one is ebony roast leather trim. And it's really a cool interior on this vehicle. It's, I'm not sure if it's black or really dark brown. And then, of course, the brown on the sides there. But it's a cool, really good looking combination. And then on the backs of the seats, you get the suede with the Bronco embossed backrest. Really, really good looking. So far, everybody I've showed this vehicle to has commented on how much they like the interior on this vehicle. And they have this heavy duty kind of rubber-ish floor for the Badlands package. I'm not sure if that's for easy cleaning, if you're off-roading and stuff, but uh, it's pretty nice. And you get the four-wheel disc brakes. So with that 360 co-pilot assist, you get the rear parking sensors. You also get the blind spot monitoring, LED tail lamps. Back end looks really good on here. You do get the receiver hitch, and it comes with, I believe, just four pin wiring back here. But you can tow up to 2,200 pounds with this vehicle, which I think is more than, I don't even think the Escape is rated for towing. So you get that same kind of, actually this is like a hard plastic back here. This is, this is the rubber stuff right here, but this piece is a hard plastic. And then you get a spare tire back here. A couple things, you get the LED lights with the little Bronco light in it, which is pretty cool. You do get, um, 110 volt, 400 watt plug-in back here, a 12 volt power point, and then I think you can like put a cargo net in here and it kind of holds it in with these tabs. Those seats do fold down, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. And then you can press this button right here and it turns these lights on. So you got the back open, you need to see stuff on the ground at night, do these lights, and what's cool about these is they tilt. So they're adjustable, which is pretty neat and smart of Ford to think of. Anyways, we'll turn those off and then shut that gate. The other nice thing is that they have the flipper glass and that allows you to get to the back and get to your stuff if you have a trailer on or if you have like a bike carrier on the back you can still get into the back without having to take all your bikes off or your trailer off which is nice as well it does have a backup camera on here too of course all the fords are going to come with the capless fuel fill it does have the keyless door code entry on there you also have the blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. Has the intelligent access, so you just have to have the key fob in your pocket, and it'll automatically unlock those doors. Coming to the interior, you get that two-tone brown and black, or really dark brown, leather interior with the suede backrests, and it's like that in the uh, on the back seats too, which we'll check out. You do get a driver's side lumbar on the seat there. B&O sound system, sounds really good. 10 speakers, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. The interior styling on the doors, you get that leather trim right there. This is kind of a, it's kind of a soft touch um, fabric, or it's not even a fabric, it's a, some material. And then you get the brown around the edges there, which is pretty cool. This one does have auto headlamps. Uh, you can unlock the gate right there. And then it has the tilt and telescopic steering wheel, which is nice. Paddle shifters on the back. And we'll hop inside and turn the ignition on so you can check out the instrument cluster. This is one of my favorite parts of the vehicle, is when you turn it on, you get all these really cool animations. And then you get the big 
um, instrument cluster there, the digital instrument cluster with the digital speedometer, miles to empty, compass, temp, all your really pertinent information right there. Uh, I did wanna, when you start this up, and when you turn the main accessory off, you get the really cool background on there. I don't know if it'll do it this time. You get the animation when you start it up. Get the little rocks there, which is pretty cool. And the, the radio does it too when the vehicle's completely off. It seems to stay in this like on mode for a little while. Anyways, this is, if you're familiar with other Ford vehicles, this is nice because they have the same radio that um, a lot of the Escapes had, the Edges, um, even the uh, EcoSports had this. This one has the factory navigation system on here. Um, so that's a really nice feature. You have all your different settings on here as well. You got Ford Pass Connect, Bluetooth, um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you can do all that stuff on here. And of course your navigation system. Change the display and all that good stuff. And you have your radio. I would assume it has AM, FM, and uh, Sirius XM radio capabilities, including the Bluetooth. You get the dual climate controls down here. It does have the wireless cell phone charge pad, USB, USB-C, this one does have the heated steering wheel and these front seats are heated as well. This is your eight speed automatic transmission with the um, turn dial right there. And then I think if you press the manual mode, that's when you can use the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. This is your uh, parking brake right there. And then you have the goat modes, which is go over any type of terrain modes on here. So when you turn this, It'll automatically select if you need your four-wheel drive locked or if you have your rear diff locked as well. And then it'll display it. So I'll turn that and I'll show you what it does up in here. So you have your different driving modes. Right now you have normal. We'll turn the display down a little bit better for the camera here. So you have normal, eco mode, sport mode, slippery mode, you have your mud and ruts mode which is special for the badlands, the sand mode, and then you also have the rock crawl mode. So when I put it in the rock crawl mode you can see that it locks the four-wheel drive and the rear diff. You also have a um, trail mode as they call it and that's your stability control right there. Key fobs are Pretty standard Ford key fobs. It does say Bronco on the back of it. And uh, you do have a remote start on there. And your hazard, or your um, alarm on there as well. So looking out the front, from the driver's perspective, like I said, you can see that hood all the way to the edge, which I really like. It's, it's important for me to know where the uh, end of the vehicle is when I'm driving. And then up here you have a power sunshade for the sunroof and that works really nicely you also have a sunglass holder and map lights up there so the first time I sat in this vehicle I really thought boy I'm I'm just in a newer version of my escape and that's that's what I still feel like I mean I've been in this a couple times now and I've driven it and that's how I feel it's like just like my escape my 2009 um, just everything's updated with the new technology and this vehicle is a lot quieter than my escape is I got the 3 liter v6 and that is loud um, here's the 180 front camera so if you do that you get a wide view you can see we can see all the way into the corners of our studio here or you just have the narrow view which is right in front of you can't quite see that corner of the studio when you're in that mode um, we'll start it up here so we can check out the backup camera you can hear super quiet so uh, really nice there and then there's your backup camera 
Those grid lines are dynamic. They turn as you turn the steering wheel. Um, and then that center line is gonna line right up with your receiver hitch. And then if we hit the plus mode, it goes right over the receiver hitch so you can see, get hooked up to your boat or camper or your uh, trailer, whatever you're hook, hauling uh, the first time every time, which is nice. And those will give you a wide view of the back as well. So pretty cool stuff right there. And uh, I'll start it up in a little bit when we get outside the vehicle. I do apologize if this video is getting long, but it's a brand new vehicle and we gotta go over it. I don't know if I showed you, it does have, of course, the capless fuel fill, which is pretty standard on all Fords. The back seats are the same trim as the front seats. You do get cup holders right there that kind of lock into place. You do get another 110 volt, 400 watt max plug-in back here. The latch child safety system, you get two latch spots back here for car seats. Um, you get these little holders right there uh, for tools and stuff, side curtain airbags. The backs have side curtain airbags as well. You can see those seats fold down pretty nice and flat, um, which is nice if you have to haul a bunch of extra stuff. And then you do get headrests that fold down like so. Um, headroom's a little bit better in the back than the front, but um, the headroom overall in this vehicle is a lot better than the Escape. You do get child safety locks back here as well. They lock with the key. And I'll start it up and take a quick look under the hood so we can uh, just see the two liter. And like I said, this thing is very quiet. Um, two liter, dual overhead cam, 245 horsepower. There are those HID headlamps with the LED running lights, LED fog lamps as well. And this is my first time opening up the hood on these things. So the... There's no release, you gotta pull the handle twice. Looks like the headlights would be really easy to get to. Fuse box there. Two liter, dual overhead cam. And uh, runs really smooth, it's paired up with the eight speed. Once again, 26 miles per gallon on the highway. 21 city, combined total of 23. And uh, just a really good looking vehicle. I'm gonna turn those fog lights on for our final walk around here. You just do that by pushing that button there. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from the HD video you will have gotten a really good idea of the overall looks, styling, um, options on the Badlands and hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed uh, making it and doing the research on this particular Bronco. We've been waiting for a while in the uh, Ford camp for a vehicle like this to come out. And uh, me personally, I think it looks great. It looks just like my old Escape and might replace my Escape with one. Anyways, see more pictures of our Broncos. You can go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to uh, more videos on our YouTube channel on your right, and if you have not been to our website, on the bottom link to our website, click those, check us out. And we're super excited to be offering the 2021 Bronco Sport, especially the Badlands in shadow black clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video.